All right, folks, let's go ahead and crack open this new version of Necromancer, the new pocket box. I don't honestly know what the future holds for Steve Jackson games and their pocket box line. If this is something that they will continue to do. Look at that. This is just so cool. Oh, my gosh. So they have this sheet. Zoom in a bit. This is the new... Oh my gosh, it actually has an alternate cover sticker in there. That's pretty cool. And then the back. Now, why is this just unbelievably cool? Because, oh yeah, dun-dun-dun-dun. Here is the original Necromancer pocket box. And as you can see, the art is true. And actually, the new version just looks crisp, doesn't it? I mean, when you compare the two, it just looks absolutely fantastic. Everything just looks great. And then on the back, yeah, that back label. Isn't that nuts? And just in case you forgot, the old original from 1983 is on the left. And then as you can see, just so no one gets confused, they did add... 2019 reproduction to the new one and then as far as the box itself the new one is slightly taller much thicker look at that it is twice as thick as the original pocket box now how do we get into this new one the old one has these little clasps here which, you know, over time, those could eventually break off, whereas the new one is kind of like a VHS cassette box. And there's nothing really that could go, you know, terribly wrong there. Crack this open, and here we go. This is what is inside of the new one. You have an extra Ziploc baggie. You have a couple of dice, and these dice look fantastic. You have the Steve Jackson Games and Illuminati icon there on, it looks like the one, which makes sense with the singular eye. Same on this die. So you have a purple glitter die, and then you have this, I don't know, is, is that glow in the dark? I can't quite tell, but it's kind of a milky color. So you got a couple, 2D6 there. Then you have the rules themselves. And look at that. Yep. When we take a look at the components side by side, this looks just like the original. That is awesome. All the charts and tables. Fantastic. All right. That is awesome. Then you have this. I feel like I'm looking at the original. This is nuts. Because even this map... Looks exactly like the original. All right, let's back this out again. I mean, look at this, folks. Here's the original. My original came with a little sheet. Here's the punched counters in the baggie. We'll take a look at the counters in a second. Now, thank goodness they do have 2019 reproduction on the new one because look at that you would not be able to tell the difference. It's crazy. And I bet they're the exact same size also. So this is my original. And this is the new one. Yeah, these things are exactly the same size. The paper, you can tell kind of the older paper has kind of yellowed just a touch and the colors are just like more full on the new one the paper you almost can't i mean the new one def you can tell the new one is a nicer paper but there is not a whole lot of difference here wow that is so cool yeah, upon folding them up, you can tell that the newer one paper quality is better. All right, here we go. Here's the rules. 
And I mean, it's just the exact same thing. This is amazing. Or, I don't know. Are there, is there any difference whatsoever? It just is absolutely awesome. All right. And then, so then this new one, though, also comes with, I don't know if I knew this or not, another one of these little pocket foldery things. And then here are all of the counters. Okay, here is the alternate cover art sticker. That is very cool. Which, I mean, that looks really cool, right? But, I mean, I just love the original. Then you do have a catalog, which is very cool. Very kind of old schoolish to get. Oh my god, wait, hold on. Is this even. This is new, right? Like, can I actually use this little form to order things? That is so cool. What is this? This is nuts. How cool is that? This has to be. Is this a reproduction? I can't tell. Car Wars Deluxe Edition. I mean, they're coming out with Car Wars again. This is crazy. It's like tr going back in time. And then all of the unpunched counters. And look what they did. They actually provided you with two complete sets. You have the new punch-out counters in this thick material so you can punch those out and have nice chits or as more with the original oh my gosh they are double-sided black and red just like the original cut these out not punch out cut out so you can really really be true to the original or with just a nicer more quality component punch out the counters but either way that's a full set of counters unreal how cool is this i know they're selling these uh cases as well just blank cases if you wanted to store some of your other games in here i'm actually gonna put that catalog in the back make i gotta make sure that i'm putting and put the sticker in here Put the counters in here. Everything that actually goes in here. Make sure I put that in here. I'll put this other label in there. This, this, this. I think this is everything that goes in there. So that, is that not just amazing? Oh, that is so cool. So that's the original. I'm sorry, that's the new. And then the original over here. The original for me does not see the light of day too often just because, you know, I wanted to keep it nice. And now, boom, now we can go crazy. So that is the entirety of Necromancer. Now let's take a quick peek at Undead. I was thinking about doing this as its own video, but I don't know. I just figured let's just make this a pocket box video. So here we go. And I've never even seen the original of this one before. So this is, again, Undead from Steve Jackson Games. So here, and I assume, because I don't have the original of this one, assume they did the same thing. So here's the new little background sheet, but this is a, you know, the how the original would look. So that is very cool. And the, everything that's inside there. And then this one will open the same way, I suppose. And again, two of these, same kind of dice. An extra little baggie for the chips, the chits. What is this? Oh my gosh, how cool is this? A little sheet. Pause that and read it if you want, but that is cool back in the day when they you know were first coming out with the pocket boxes and they gave you that all right so here we go here is a catalog and here's this 1988 
That is the year I was born. How insane. Oh, that's so awesome. And then again, the counters that you could cut out or, oh yeah, absolutely gorgeous. You know, just a higher quality, be able to punch these out and have some really nice chits. Look at all the furniture, the tables, the chairs, the coffins. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to dive into this one. What is this, the map? Yep. Let's back this out. What is this? So like on the back of this, there's tables. It looks like there's also advertisements. I guess on the original they had advertisements also. They must have, right? And so there's a map of London, I assume. Yeah, well, of course, City of London, 1890. And then there's indoor combat map there. And then on the other side, the crypt combat map and some other information pertinent to playing the game. That's just an interesting way to have done that. And then here's the rule book. A lot of text. Remember, but you know, I don't remember. Obviously being born in 88, so I was spoiled with the modern rule books. But just all these just pages and pages, walls of text. Oh boy. All right, so, and then I'll put this background label in there. Boom, boom, boom. And folks, that is the new pocket boxes. How cool is that? Relive some nostalgia or be like me and experience them for the first time. How cool is that? Folks, thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And until next time.